In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Create in me a clean heart, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who instructed the hearts of the faithful, by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to realize what is right and always rejoice in your consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Making our will one with the divine will, we begin. O holy will, as we begin our cenacle, we pray you, we beg you, we implore you, not to leave us, not even one instant, so that you speak, you write, you listen in us. You will make yourself known and make known how you want to be the life of all, in order to give your goods to all. If you let us do it, we won't be able to make you known as you want, because we are incapable. But if you do it, you will triumph, you will be known, and you will have your kingdom in our cenacle and in the whole world. O oh, holy will, with your power, you eclipse all the evils of the creatures. You put your almighty end so that they leave the way of sin and find themselves in the way of your divine will. To you, Queen Mother, of the divine fiat, we consecrate this cenacle in a special way so that your love, your maternity, may be spread throughout the readings and inspirations we share to call your children to live together with you in that same will whose kingdom you possessed. As we start kneeling at your feet, we implore your maternal blessing, our love, and our life, your will has the virtue of multiplying your life for as many human beings that exist and will exist on earth. And we, in your will, want to form as many Jesuses in order to give the whole of you to its soul in purgatory, to its blessed in heaven, and to its being living on earth. So we begin. Invocation to the divine will in all our actions. I am nothing. God is all. Father, I love you. Come divine will to think in my mind, to circulate in my blood, to look with my eyes, to listen in my ears, to speak in my voice, to breathe in my breathing, to beat in my heart, to move in my motion, to suffer in my suffering. And may my soul, consumed and fused with your will, be the living crucifix immolated for the glory of the Father. To pray in me and then offer this prayer to yourself as mine, to satisfy for the prayers of all, and to give to the Father the glory that all creatures should give him, to infuse in me the faith of Mary most holy in order to possess you as she possessed you, to infuse in me the hope of Mary most holy in order to desire you as she desired you, to infuse in me the charity of Mary most holy in order to love you as she loved you, to adore in me, and since your will multiplies acts to the infinite, thus I intend to give you the satisfaction as if all had assisted at Holy Mass and give to all the fruit of the sacrifice and impetrate salvation for all. Amen. 
ever holy and indivisible trinity, I adore you profoundly. I love you intensely. And I thank you perpetually for all and in the hearts of all. Ever holy and indivisible trinity, I adore you profoundly. I love you intensely. And I thank you perpetually for all and in the hearts of all. Ever holy and indivisible trinity, I adore you profoundly. I love you intensely. And I thank you perpetually for all and in the hearts of all. Amen. Good evening, dear brothers and sisters in the divine will. Welcome. Let us continue our rounds journey of discovery, discovering the I love you's of Jesus, the truth of the divine will, the most precious inheritance given by God to humanity. Together with the Blessed Mother and Mamina Luisa, let us receive the act of fusing from the divine will, the most holy trinity's eternal exchange of love. As we receive this perfect act, let us concur, let us fuse our will, intellect, and memory, the three powers of our soul to the most holy will, intellect, and memory of the humanity of Jesus and his divinity. And so, for the upcoming birthday of Blessed Virgin, let us give homage to her by, with our prayer to the Celestial Queen. Immaculate Queen, mm -hmm. my Celestial Mother, I come unto your maternal knees to abandon myself in your arms as your dear child and to ask of you with the most ardent sighs in this month consecrated to you the greatest of graces that you admit us to live in the kingdom of the divine will. Holy Mama, you who are the queen of this kingdom, admit us to live in it as your children, that it may no longer be deserted, but populated by your children. Therefore, sovereign queen, we entrust ourselves to you, that you may lead our steps in the kingdom of the divine will. And as we cling to your maternal hand, you will lead all our being to live perennial life in the divine will. You will be our mama, and to you as mm. our mama, we deliver our will that you may exchange it with the divine will. And so, we may be sure we will not go out of its kingdom. Therefore, we pray you to illumine, illumine us in order to make us comprehend what will of God means. Hail Mary, full Lord of Lord. grace, the Lord, Lord is Lord. with thee. Blessed art thou Lord. among women, and blessed Lord. is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for, pray us, for us sinners, now, now and at the hour, at the hour of, our of our death. Amen. Amen. So we will have special meditation in honor of the birth of our mother. This is taken from the book, The Virgin Mary in the Kingdom of the Divine Will, Day 10. The Queen of Heaven in the Kingdom of the Divine Will, Dawn that rises to put to flight the night of the human will, her glorious birth. The soul to the Queen of Heaven. Here I am, O Holy Mama, near your cradle, to be spectator of your prodigious birth. The heavens are stupefied. The sun is fixed upon you with its light. The earth exalts with joy and feels honored to be inhabited by its little newborn queen. 
The angels compete among themselves in surrounding your cradle to honor you and to be ready for your wishes. So, all honor you and want to celebrate your birth. I too unite myself with all and prostrate before your cradle where I see as though enraptured your mother Anne and your father Joachim. I want to tell you my first word. I want to entrust to you my first secret. I want to empty my heart into yours and say to you, My mama, you who are the dawn, herald of the divine fiat upon the earth, oh please, put to flight the gloomy night of the human will in my soul and in the whole world. Ah, yes, may your birth be our hope, which like a new dawn of grace, may regenerate us in the kingdom of the divine will. Lesson of the Newborn King Child of my heart, my birth was prodigious. No other birth can be said to be similar to mine. I enclosed within myself the heaven, the sun of the divine will, and also the earth of my humanity. But, a blessed and holy earth, which enclosed the most beautiful flowerings. And even though I was just newly born, I enclosed the prodigy of the greatest prodigies, the divine will reigning in me, which enclosed <laughs> in me a heaven more beautiful, a sun more refulgent than those of creation, of which I was also queen, as well as a sea of graces without boundaries, which constantly murmured, love, love to my creator. Therefore, my birth was the true dawn that puts to flight the night of the human will. And as I kept growing, I formed the daybreak and called for the brightest daylight to make the sun of the eternal word rise over the earth. My child, come into my cradle to listen to your tiny little mama. As soon as I was born, I opened my eyes to see this low world, to go in search of all my children in order to enclose them in my heart. Give them my maternal love and regenerating them to the new life of love and of grace. Give them the step to let them enter into the kingdom of the divine fiat of which I was the possessor. I wanted to act as queen and as mother, enclosing everyone in my heart, to place everyone in safety and give them the great gift of the divine kingdom. In my heart, I had a place for everyone because for one who possesses the divine will, there are no constraints but infinite expanses. Therefore, I look also at you, my child. No one escaped me. And since on that day, everyone celebrated my birth, it was also feast for me. But upon opening my eyes to the light, I had the sorrow of seeing the creatures in the thick night of the human will. Oh, in what an abyss of darkness the creature who lets herself be dominated by her will finds herself in rapt. It is the true night, but a night with no stars. At most, a few fleeting lightnings which are easily followed by thunders, which in roaring thicken the darkness even more and unload the storm over the poor creature. Storms of fear, of weaknesses, of dangers, of falls into evil. My little heart remained pierced in seeing my children in this horrible storm. 
in which the night of the human will had overwhelmed them. Now, listen to your little mama. I am still in the cradle. I am little. Look at my tears that I shed for you. Every time you do your will, it is a night that you form for yourself. But if you knew how much this night harms you, you would cry with me. It makes you lose the light of the day of the holy will. It turns you upside down. It paralyzes you to good. It breaks true love in you, and you remain like a poor, ill one. Who lacks the necessary things to get well? Ah, my child, dear child, listen to me. Never do your will. Give me your word that you will make your tiny little mama content. The soul. Holy little mama, I feel myself trembling in hearing of the ugly night of my will. Therefore, I am here by your cradle to ask of you the grace that by your prodigious birth, you make me be reborn in the divine will. I will be always near you, celestial little baby. I will unite my prayers and my tears to yours to impetrate for myself and for all, the kingdom of the divine will upon earth. Little sacrifice. Today, to honor me, you will come three times to visit me in my cradle, saying to me each time, Celestial little baby, make me be reborn together with you in the life of the divine will. Ejaculatory, ejaculatory prayer, my little mama, make the dawn of the divine will rise within my soul. Thank you, Sister Slaling and Ami. So, our mother, because she lived her life in the divine will, all throughout her life, from the time of her conception to the last of her breath, uh, until her assumption into heaven, um, she had been given to us as our model on how to live in the divine will. And Louisa was the first one she called to really uh, know more about this kingdom. So our mother possesses each fount more than anyone else. She knows its admirable secrets, its infinite joys, its indescribable happiness, and its incalculable value. So, it's no wonder that once again, God given, gives her again the mandate in order to go throughout the world and call her children to enter and live together with her in this kingdom of the divine realm. So, um, she had always been our guide and she has given us the way how to be able to live in this kingdom. And so we thank our God for giving us our mother, our queen in the kingdom of the divine realm. So now we enter into the liturgical uh, celebration of the word for the 23rd Sunday in ordinary time. We think correcting in the name of love. Thank you for reading. Jesus teaches us to help our erring brothers and sisters and lead them to conversion and reform. Let us pray that the Lord may soften our hearts and fill them with patience and love. And may the Holy Spirit dispose the hearts of our erring brethren to our patient urgings and concerned admonitions. <laughs> God calls Ezekiel a prophet and watchman to dissuade the Israelites from their wicked ways and to lead them to conversion. In the same way, Jesus invites us to bring back 
to the right path those who have strayed. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn, warn them for me. If I tell the wicked man that he shall surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked man from his way, he, the wicked man, shall die for his guilt. I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked man, trying to turn him away, turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Paul reminds us of the com commandment of love that fills the law. As Christians, we are called to a life of love. Each of us must look after the welfare of our neighbor. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loved another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet. And whatever other commandment there may be are summed up in this saying, you shall love your neighbor, neighbor as yourself. Love does not, love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And with your spirit. Read the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him, is called between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he has not listened, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, the, the church. If he refuses to listen, even to a church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Even I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, even I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For <clears throat> where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. On the lap of our mother, let us listen to the Gospel sharing of Reverend Father Roland and Reverend Father Frank. My topic is fraternal correction. Fraternal correction. One of the important lessons of today's gospel 
Matthew 18, 15, he sent fraternal correction, a virtue or activity that many people are not too eager to perform. Many times we are afraid because our sister or brother may not accept our correction, or even worse, they will turn against us. Jesus gave us a step-by-step -step process for our fraternal correction to be useful and effective. First, correct your sister or brother between you two, and if he accepts, then you have won your brother or sister. If he is not, go to step two by asking one or two witnesses so that it will be made clear that your sister or brother did something wrong. If still your brother is adamant, present this case to the community, to the church, and if he does not accept the opinion of the church, treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Pope Francis, in one of his homilies, made an excellent observation. Often, instead of correcting our brothers, we will tell others in the form of gossip, a familiar marites. It then added that gossipers, gossipers lose the heart of the community. These epicurators are model in observing fraternal coercion for zeal and courage in correcting people, even officials in the church and government, and cause them to promote love for the good of all and the kingdom of the divine will. Here's a quote from uh, Pope Francis and Fraternal Correction. Quote, May the Virgin Mary help us to make fraternal correction a healthy practice, healthy practice, so that in our communities, ever new fraternal relationships founded on mutual forgiveness and above all, and the invincible power of God's mercy may be instilled. Please, my brothers and sisters, let us make an effort not to gossip. Gossip or gossip? It is the love of Jesus who embraced the tax collectors, Gentiles, scandalizing the conformists for the time. However, it is not a sentence without an appeal, but a recognition that at times our own attempts may fail, but that only being before God and bring the brother to face his own conscience and responsibility for his actions. If this matter does not work, then silence and prayer for the brother or sister who has made the mistake, but never gossip. Never gossip or gossip. From Pope Francis, Angelus Message, September 6, 2020. My little I have a little story to tell. Uh, some, sort, some sort of tradition. Right? This uh, came from uh, Jerome. Uh, thank you, Jerome, for again for sending by email some of materials from other parts of the country, mostly from the United States and Australia. And this one it was uh, given by. Anne Weigel, W-E-I-G-A-L, Anne Weigel, and she has been with the Divine Will since 1996. And this is a story that uh, they related about a Korean girl supposed to be preparing for missionary who went to Corato. And some of you have been to Corato in Italy. And uh, the others were surprised. She came alone and uh, they asked her, why are you here? And then her answer was, I come because I want to meet people 
Olam Luisa. I love Luisa. I want to meet people who love Luisa. And uh, it is a very uh, nice story. This came all the way from Korea in order to meet other people who love Luisa, Luisa Pegarata. And then this uh, Ann Weigel adopted this uh, this thing about uh, showing our love towards other people. Therefore, he, he adopted it in such a way that every time she introduces one of the new one of the new or the Bodhi the Divine Well, she would say like this is Peter Lalin, he loves Luisa. Or this is Sister Wayne, he loves Luisa. Or this is Jerome, he loves Luisa, and so on. Therefore uh, what uh, what is inspiring this is that he keeps uh, telling people about the story and uh, People have been uh, telling that story since uh, early and up to the present. When she tells this story, people are inspired. Imagine a girl coming all the way from from Korea and then asking, "I want to meet. I want to meet other people. I come here to Corato, Italy, because I want to meet other people who love Luisa." Actually, it is us. Uh, I want to come here to Colorado because I want to see other people who love the divine will. And then that, who love the divine will. Therefore, introduce other people, our members. And um, this is our president, or this is the man. He loves the divine will. Right? That's uh, that's uh, one of the stories in the email that uh, email that uh, or the email coming from uh, Jerome and uh, the other people. But what I did was uh, look at the name Anne Wingo. And wiggle, and then I was able to locate this uh, nice story oh, is, about is, the is. Korean girl. Okay, therefore uh, that is an added oh, yeah. information for us. And uh, now, if you have any uh, anything oh, to man. ask about uh, oh, about no, no, no. paternal correction <clears throat> or about uh, <clears throat> about <clears throat> gossip, no. it is uh, something that people <clears throat> forget about. You know, <clears throat> Instead of uh, correcting the offender, they gossip to other people. And that's why the word marites is uh, quite commonly used now. Okay, do you have any question about uh, marites or about, uh, about the fraternal person? Maybe later we will ask Father to. <laughs> so, um, can can we hear from Father Frank? Uh, just a little okay. question. Okay. Father, oh, Father Sandri lang po, one sentence. Oh. Lang. Um, when we went to Corato in 2015, we were surprised because there are 150 Koreans who were there, outnumbering uh, those from the Philippines and from other countries. So that's it. Uh, we're surprised that Koreans love uh, uh, Larissa, the little daughter of the divine. Mm -hmm. So, Father, it's your turn. Okay. <clears throat> the practice of uh, fraternal correction 
is rooted on certain realizations. First, uh, that we are all sinners. We have to accept that we are all sinners, that we have our own weaknesses, we have our own shortcomings, and therefore, we need one another in order to be able to overcome those weaknesses, in order to be able to overcome those uh, shortcomings. And as Jesus told us about the command, the greatest commandment, that the second commandment is like, like the first. The first is love God above all things. The second is love your neighbor as you love yourself. Then uh, the second point is that if we love ourselves, we should also love our neighbor. And loving our neighbor, who is also a sinner, who is also imperfect, who is also who needs help as well as we are, as we do, then fraternal correction should be not any should be should be an act of charity. Now, uh, the problem with us is that uh, first there is fear of rejection. There is fear of uh, throwing back to us our uh, correction. Sabi nga, uh, look at yourself first before you, you look at me. Uh, which are all actually uh, manifestations of pride. So, uh, because it's like a refusal of, a refusal of the need to be helped. And that is what, what we, we, we all need. No one is perfect. No one, uh, no, no one can journey along in faith alone. We always need one another. And that is the way to support one another. Now, uh, the idea, however, <clears throat> that is behind it, is that we, we, we do care for one another. <clears throat> now, of course, it's also very, very important first, Guru, to pray for the one that you would like to correct. And pray to the Holy Spirit so that you will say the right things in order for the correction to be effective. Because uh, the practice of fraternal correction is more an act of the Holy Spirit through us instead of us. That's why uh, we should never really even pride ourselves to be able to say that you were the one who was able to correct. No, we are just an instrument. It is the Holy Spirit who is correcting us. And lastly, uh, this is nothing else but uh, the lifestyle in the kingdom of the divine will. Because uh, we cannot afford to ignore one another. We cannot afford to just see people uh, committing faults, uh, either, either against you or against anybody else. We cannot afford to just ignore. So we need, we, we do need. Uh, and here, uh, there are different levels. Uh, as we are told in the Gospel of Matthew, the idea of first correcting personally and then getting two as witnesses and then giving it to the church. Uh, these are the different stages that we can resort to. But in all cases, we should really always have behind the act of fraternal correction the love with which we would like to do it to them, to, to, to anybody. It is an act of love. It is, an, it is a duty of love. But it should be also delivered in a, in, a, in a lovable way, 
in a way that makes people feel important, feel that they are a, that they are very much appreciated by God. No, but uh, sometimes we do we do we do things wrongly, especially if uh, instead of uh, telling one another, we tell others. You know that is the practice of maritas. No. Uh, because we don't have the courage, perhaps. And I think uh, if we don't have the courage, let's pray for that courage from the Holy Spirit to be able to do so. So uh, this is, uh, fraternal correction is, is really nothing else but loving God above all things. And that is how we should, uh, we, we should look at it that way all the time. Now it's not easy, uh, but uh, it can be done. It can be done. And again, we always uh, look for the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, because that is the joy of a mother to see the children helping one another. That's all I can. That is the end of my sharing. <laughs> Thank you very much, Po Father. Um, what you said are all true. And um, uh, many times we also fall into that weakness of uh, correcting, especially those within the family circle. So in the Divine Hill, we very uh, uh, pray to our mother, to Louisa, and all the angels to help us to strengthen us in love, which is supposedly, as you said, the very lifestyle of those who are living in the divine hell, to love even those who are unlovable. <laughs> so uh, we pray, and that is really our goal, that our life be transformed into total love. So um, anyone else would like to share or ask question from father on the fifth and the feast of uh, mama mary during that time we have no person but there are some activities that uh, over here before we used to have a little procession in the seminary and uh, very, very modern procession, but I don't think it is uh, good now because of the rain. But we can do something special in this in this uh, time for uh, the Feast of Mama Mary, uh, applying uh, what we do in the rounds of uh, rounds of love, rounds of uh, the we put under the sanctification maybe, you know, uh, you go through, you know, you say, I love, I place my love in the crib where Mama Mary, okay, I place my love in the baby crying in the crib, I place my love, something, anything that the, uh, would occur to you, you know, it is suggested by uh, the meditation that we had, no? we had to reflect. And one of those is to go, go through the rounds and uh, go through what we heard in the readings today. And that is a suggestion for mm -hmm. the feast of Mama Mary. Yes, Paul Father. Um, I know that uh, everyone is um, well is familiar with doing our rounds in creation and we gather the I love you's coming from the sun, the moon, the stars, and we give them to our mother also as our double I love you for her. We make our own the love of the father and we give it to her, the love of the son, and we give this to her the love of the Holy Spirit, as well as the love of the angels and the saints. And so gathering these I love yous uh, and so many others, especially 
the acts of our Lord Jesus. We give this to her as a sign of our love, especially on her birthday. And there are many more examples now. Louisa has taught us how to really appreciate and um, love our mother with uh, the rounds of creation, redemption, and sanctification. Brother Jerome, would you like to give some examples also? Uh, I press my I love you of Mama Mary's fiat. Uh, fiat yes. to be the mother of uh, the word became flesh. Mm -hmm. I impress uh, I my uh, I love you to Mama Mary for uh, the Holy Rosary. Mm -hmm. That we are able to say our I love you in every bit of those uh, roses, the rosary, the 53 Hail Marys. I also impressed my I love you from Mama Mary for protecting us and for shielding us with her mantle and for striking the head of the serpent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, thank you, Brother Jerome. Sister Vilma, could you give us other examples? Good evening, everyone in the fiat. Good evening. Uh, this is the round of the acts of Mama Mary. Yeah. Yes, they love you so that we can um offer or give to our mother on this uh coming birthday of hers how do you do it sample lang ah uh, uh, fuse in the holy will of jesus i impress my uh, i love you to the fiat of mama mary mm -hmm. to conceive Jesus in her womb and her acts of, of giving birth of the baby Jesus mm -hmm. and all her cares for baby, for Jesus from the from the time of his birth up to the time of his public life. I put my I love you on the, the supreme love of Mama Mary for Jesus and for all his sufferings and sorrows during the passion of Jesus. I put my love you on <clears throat> the motherhood of Mary for all of us, being the mother of all, for her guidance, for her reminders, and for her inspiration and for being the perfect model for us to follow in living in the divine world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sister Vilma. Sister Vilma is from Las Piñas. Paranaque. Uh -huh. Hey, no, Montilupa pala. <laughs> <laughs> but before I was working in Paranaque. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Nanis. Brother Nanis is from BF Homes. <clears throat> Brother Nanis, please unmute. Uh, I place my I love you on Mama Mary. I love you, Mama Mary, with God's divine will for uh, taking care of all of us, for, for us being conceived in you uh, when you were conceived. Uh, I place my, mama, my I love you to Mama Mary for her guidance uh, because Jesus gave us to her so that she she may guide us uh, in the in the path to live in the divine will. Ah, hirap kasi dasabi na dahil. 
<laughs> I love you, Mama Mary. Be your divine maid. Amen. <laughs> okay. So, thank you. Any any, any other addition before we proceed to our um, catechism? We place our love you in her act of calling all her children to live in the divine will, even while uh, she was just newly uh, born. Um, we place our I love you to our mother um, in really calling each one of us to teach us the steps. She said uh, she was so sorrowful because her children doesn't know the steps how to enter into the kingdom. So she gave us now the steps on how really to enter into her kingdom. And I think we took that up last time. And we place our I love you in her teachings, in, ho in all her lessons on how she lived her life in the divine will. In particular, we place our I love you on the lessons she gives us about the human will when it operates separate from the divine will. And so, uh, there are, yes, as you said, brother uh, Nanis, there are so many things that we do to return the I love you to our mother. And I know she's happy because uh, she's now um, hearing all this love which she couldn't receive from all her supposedly children. And now in the name of all, we can do it for all. So we continue with, uh, now we enter into the liturgical celebration of the word and uh, continue with our catechism stylogy. Good afternoon. Come divine will in my reading and understand what I'm re reading. <clears throat> in the light of the gospel, I, so, tama ba? Yeah. in the light of the teachings of the Holy Mother Church, Catechism for Filipino Catholics, 975. Spiritual works of mercy. These are listed as follows. To instruct the ignorant, admonish the sinner, counsel the doubtful, comfort the sorrowful, bear wrongs patiently, forgive all injuries, and pray for the living and the dead. The script basis for this is works is varied. The, those works dealing with instruction and correction are grounded not only in Christ's own teaching on fraternal correction. A major source is the advice in the New Testament epistles. My brothers, if someone is detected in sin, you who live by the Spirit should gently set him right. Let the word of Christ as an apple. Rich as it is. Yeah. Let, let the word of Christ reach as it is dwell in you. In wisdom made perfect, instruct and admonish one another. Correct those who are confused. The image of counsel and Comfort is found in Isaiah as uh, a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. And joy is promised to the apostles by Christ before his entry mm -hmm. into his passion. But I shall see you again, then your hearts will rejoice with a joy no one can take from you. From the Encyclopedia, fraternal correction is here taken to mean the admonishing of one's neighbor by a private individual with the purpose of preforming him or, if possible, preventing his sinful indulgence. This is clearly distinguishable from an official disciplining whose mouthpiece is a judge 
or other like superior, whose object is the punishment of one found to be guilty, and whose motive is not so directly the individual advantage of the offender as the furtherance of the common good that there is upon occasion and with due regard to circumstances an obligation to administer fraternal correction, there can be no doubt. This is a conclusion not only deducible from the natural law binding us to love and to assist one another, but also explicitly contained in positive precept, such as the inculculation of Christ. If thy brother shall offend against thee, go and rebuke him between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou shalt gain thy brother. Eh, thy brother. Saan na ako? The Baltimore. The Baltimore Catechism number three. When are we bound to admonish the sinner? We are bound to admonish the sinner when the following conditions are fulfilled. One, when his fault is a mortal sin. Two, when we have authority or influence over him. And three, and when the, there is reason to believe that our warning will not make him worse instead of better. Everybody, all, God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their depressed passes against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. O supreme will, come to reign upon the earth, invest all generations, win and conquer all, and do not delay any longer. Amen. Fiat. The Thank end you, of my Lord. Thank, Thank you, Linda Devanian. Alam na muna si Kwan. Father, Roland. Alas <laughs> nila. Ang dali, Father. Can I be with you? And with your spirit. Yeah. 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 Very good words of Nicodemus there. Father, let feel us the spirit of Sanctus. Amen. Amen. Good night. Good night, Father. We love you. Good night, Father. Good night, Father Roland. Bye-bye. Bye. Father Frank? Yeah. I would like to say uh, this fraternal correction is seem to be very, very simple, but uh, it's a very serious obligation, huh? Sinabi nga dito when people are uh, committing mortal sin. Now, we are living in a society that is very much uh, characterized no by mortal sin corruption is a mortal sin huh uh, now that is it's very difficult however i think we should not give up and one way of correcting is by not approving by not uh, Allowing it to happen. Uh, how do we go about it? Well, election is one way. You change those people who are corrupt. But uh, things are getting worse. Because even the very instrument for correcting is also being corrupted. You know, uh, it has been discovered that the last election was really rigged. And that is really, that is a great, grievous sin. It's a very serious sin. Uh, so, otherwise, para bang, para bang, 
we, we seem to be so permissive now, not per permissive. We seem to be so 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 passive about it. And uh, we in uh, the, the word that is used for correcting especially social sins. Uh, and as a matter of fact, Pope John Paul II calls it sinful structures is uh, what we call advocacy. Huh? Advocacy. We advocate uh, honesty. We advocate love. We advocate uh, waking people up to the fact that all of us are, are destroying one another. All of us are making our life miserable uh, because we don't do much to, to correct corruption. As a matter of fact, uh, lately I heard you know, in the League of Mayors, they confessed that uh, out, out of the budget, 60% goes to corruption. And that is, that is very serious, huh? It's completely beyond my imagination. We are like, uh, wala nang konsyensya, nakikita ko. So for me, very important the forming of conscience. Uh, I'm not, I am not, uh, ano kasi natin eh, pag, uh, when, we, when we bring this up, para bang uh, sinasabi, Oh, eh, simply come out now. Or the better way, you know. We should be. We should do it humbly. Uh, lahat tayo na nga ilangan eh. We need uh, a situation in which people are more are more uh, sensitive to the situation of each other. You know, paternal correction uh, can only be done when there is that sensitivity. Uh, sensitivity towards each other that we we cannot just let go of what's going on it's very difficult however if we if we are very much in love with the divine will we, we know very well that this is not the divine will huh? <laughs> when uh, so many people are suffering uh, because of the corruption uh this is the kaya dito nakalagay oh mga na I was was happy to to read this yung from Baltimore Catechism ano uh, the three conditions when his fault is in a mortal it's a mortal sin what my, this cannot be very it's, very it's a very grievous sin corruption and we have authority or influence over him we do have authority because we are sovereign people uh, and when there is reason to believe that our warning will not make him worse. Uh, pero parabang things are getting worse. <laughs> I don't know. So siguro, we need to do, we have to offer up, we have to offer mortifications, offer sacrifices, so that we can, uh, we can operate this atmosphere, we can, we can foster, we can promote this atmosphere of fraternal correction to one another. Napakahirap nito. Mm -hmm. This is not political. This is moral obligation. This is not politics at all. This is moral obligation. When uh, a sin is being committed and we allow it to be repeated all at all, uh, if that guy goes to hell, katayo, kasama tayo ro. Uh, so we become our silence become makes us an apprentice our, our passivity makes us an apprentice accomplice accomplice <laughs> even worse we have become an accomplice so we do I want I want us to really you see it's a very simple thing if only we have that faith, if we have faith, it can be done. Uh, pero talaga sa ngayon, it's getting worse. Huh? 
Uh, I don't commission nga eh. Iniisip ko, nakakaya sa mga young people. Ang, ang iniiwan natin sa kanila, ang ipapam, binapamanan natin sa kanila is a world of corruption which is which makes their life harder to live later on. That's why uh, sometimes I feel like apologizing to the young people because we have not corrected very basic things in our society. So yun lang ang aking mga uh, napakahirap. But I think we should do whatever we can. We can do it the way uh, Luisa Picareta did it in her own way, uh, promoting people who would become uh, more sensitive to the, to the importance of the, of the, the divine will, who become more devotees to the divine will, who become more aware of the importance of the kingdom of the divine will. Okay naman yun. <laughs> but we should do more. Napakahirap. Mm -hmm. Father, That's my... Father uh, yeah. we, what you're saying is that when we don't correct the ano po, the 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 guy who is in mortal sin, we are an accomplice. Yes. But if eh, I don't have that authority, but I just pray for him, are we still a complice? Yes. Still. In other words, we continue to pray. Simply because we are, we continue to pray our being accomplished becomes lesser. At least may ginagawa tayo. We are not passive. We are active. Although our activity is not sufficient. Mortification po. Sabi niyo kanina, ah? fast. Mortification. Yeah. Doing ano, fasting. We need to... Yeah, uh, remember, remember, remember the, the incident in which uh, people brought to the apostles uh, possessed people no? and then uh, they, they could not drive away the, the, the devil but then when they were brought to Jesus he, he right away just uh, liberated the, the, the person from the possession of the devil and then uh, when the apostle said, "How come we could not do it? This kind of uh, this kind of evil can only be overcome by prayer, prayer and, and penance." Remember, mm -hmm. that is what Jesus told the apostles. Penance, fasting, sir. Up, Father. Yes, prayer and penance. Fa Father, do uh, you Baltimore, uh, sa Baltimore Catechism, mayroong number two. When you have authority or influence over him, eh, kaso kanya, let's say, wala. So, how can we become accomplished kung wala naman tayong authority or influence? Well, well, well actually, as I said, uh, we are sovereign people. That's so why when election comes, we exercise, we need to exercise our sovereignty. And that is that is where we can exercise by really clarifying sino ba talaga ang karapat dapat. And secondly, we should work at work it out na hindi tayo lulukuhin sa eleksyon. Ayun, Kaya yun, ginagawa yun, ito yun. ng simbahan eh. Kaya yun, ginagawa ito ng simbahan eh because of that. Go ahead. Remember nung panahon ni Cardinal Sin, Di ba, yung EDSA election. Sana yeah. makaroon another cardinal sin. Well, we do, <laughs> we do, we do need, <laughs> we, we need to put ourselves together. Uh, and we should, that is, that's why I, I mentioned the idea of advocacy. We should advocate. We cannot just, sa ngayon eh, para bang, para bang, we are giving it up eh. Uh, lumalala at lumalala. And really, what happened in the last election was the worst uh, ever. Kasi hindi pa nga tapos yung butuhan ni eh, mayroon ng resulta. Uh, and they discovered, bakit? Uh, mayroon, na palang, mayroon na palang, mayroon na palang nakahandang resulta. 
without waiting for the counting. Ha? Meron na pala. Now, what do we do with that data? Uh, all I'm saying, these people who are trying to discover yung, 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 uh, the, uh, what, what they did to rig the election is to me, it's a good, it's a, a good act of patriotism. It's a good act of moral act that is helping us. In other words, to guide us that they, they came up with the truth. So, sinabi nga nila na the ones na, yung nakaupo ngayon sa gobyerno, they have no moral uh, ascendancy. Kasi walang binasiyan yun eh. Walang base. Ah? Now, this is, as I said, ang, 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 ang ano kasi natin, we keep, we keep, uh, we keep talking about morality not any only in, in 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 private matters religious matters not so much in social uh matters but i think we should huh kasi pag sinabi natin yan eh kasi pinagmumulit ka na naman that is actually that is the instrument of satan parang manahimik tayo we are not here to we are not here to rebel we are here to to see to it that our society is rooted in truth napakahirap i as i'm saying but i think it is our obligation we should well wala actually wala. Actually, pag sinabi ng, pag, pag nagsalita, pag alimbawa, pag nagsalita ang uh, CBCP President, sabihin na nagkikialam na naman. But he, he has to do that. Eh. Ha? At yeah. saka, kakasuwa pa siya. Ha? Remember, pag kinasuwa sila si uh, apat na obispo, ha? because nakikialam. Ha? Oh, si Bishop the Beach, Bishop Sok, Bishop Bakanin, Bishop Unjoy Chonko. Ha? So, I know, I know. However, that is not also a reason for them. Now, huwag dapat sila matakot. Let's continue. Let's persevere. Baka, mag, baka yun lang mag-spark ng another EDSA revolution. Kasi yung, remember, the first EDSA revolution, anong cause? Dinaya ang eleksyon. Dinaya, o. Oh. Oh, kaya nga, nagkaroon, nagkaroon ng cardinal sin who, who brought the people to EDSA, yeah, kaya yeah, nagkaroon yeah. ng change. Remember, that that was the bloodless revolution. Yes, yes, Malita yes. Malitang bilita tayo all over the world. Pero anong dahilan? Dinaya ang eleksyon. Baka ito na ang another solution. Brother Nani, mga bishops, pray, mag, ano? pray, pray more. Kaya nga dito sa uh, Facebook. That's why nga we pray. Yes. Ano magagawa natin? We pray. Yes. Our, um, and let us and let us let us share it to other people. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, let us that. share our concern to other people, to as many as we can. We are not here to rebel. We are not here to mm -hmm. topple down the government. We are here to correct. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the only way to correct is to topple the government. <laughs> <laughs> we are not trying to topple the government. As a matter, <laughs> matter of fact, if only, if only they really are honest, sabihin lang nila na dinaya talaga. Ha? Kasi inamin na ni, inamin na ng, ng Comelic Chairman eh, na mayroon silang ginawang katiwalian. Inamin na. Pero yung... Si, si Lenny Robredo na papuntahin dito. <laughs> Brother Nani, can we pray? Diba sabi dito, when there are two or three gathered together, then um, the Lord will really uh, yeah, yeah. Will be granted to them by the Heavenly Father. Itong so, prayer is prayer for a decision. Hmm. Uh, yung prayer na sabi doon sa, sa 
pericope is prayer for the right decision, whether to remove or to retain an erring brother. That's yeah. so that what they pray for. for Hindi yung sinasabi ni Father na to change the government. Anyhow, ako, I don't have any answer. Ha? Ang ano ko lang is my concern. And I think to me, to be concerned is already a great thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, Father. But and you can also is... write the bishops. Yeah. Why not? So, um, Brother Nanis can start with that. He knows a lot of bishops. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Nanis, that's your mission. <laughs> เนี่ยสิพี่สิพี่สิพาเดอร์พาเบียลล่ะสิพลาวันเนี่ยเออเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเน
is my tongue that oftentimes makes me sleep in charity toward my neighbor. And Jesus, do not fear. I myself will teach you the way you must keep and speaking with your neighbor. First, when you are told something about your neighbor, cast a gaze upon yourself and observe whether you are guilty of that same defect. For in that case, one thing to correct is wanting to make me indignant and to scandalize your neighbor. Second, if you see yourself free of that defect, rise then and try to speak as I would have. In this way, you will speak with my own tongue. By doing so, you will never fail in charity with your neighbor. On the contrary, with your words, you will do good to yourself and to your neighbor. And to me, you will give honor and glory. Altogether, God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. O supreme will, come to reign upon the earth. Invest all generations, win, in conquer all, and do not delay any longer. Amen. Thank you in the divine will, Sister Adrian. Thank so, you for your welcome, always, Paul. Um, this one is very familiar to each one of us. How to complete, how to conform ourselves completely to our Lord Jesus, and it is in the invocation to the divine will in all our actions. And then um, the second part, it is about Louise's concern about her tongue that oftentimes makes her slip in charity toward her neighbor. And this is what our Lord had uh, taught her. So. Father, can you give us uh, uh, your divine insight regarding this too? Yeah. Uh, the first thing is, uh, as I said kanina, uh, paternal correction is only within the context that both of us accept that we are sinners, that we need one another, and that uh, all of us are capable of making mistakes. That's why here the first point it says here now before you open uh, you you open your mouth about about your neighbor, look into yourself. Look into yourself. Uh, you know uh, we used when I was a seminarian we used to have a, we used to have a practice uh, an activity which we call paternal correction and all. And whenever we correct the other, we always say, in the spirit of humility and of uh, honor, in the spirit of love and humility, I correct you. In humility, in other words, hindi tayo nagmamataas sa kinukurikan natin. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, kasi nga dito sinasabi, now, in that case, one thing to correct is one thing to make me indignant and to scandalize your neighbor. In other words, uh, instead of being a source of edification, we become a source of scandal because we are not coming across. We are coming across as if we are higher. We are, we, we are, we, we are on top of them. Uh, 
Samantalang may YouTube about fraternal correction, you must feel you are beside each other. You are on equal footing. Uh, you are on equal footing. As a matter of fact, we can even say that uh, my telling you this will also help me to overcome my defect. Uh, so, so, hindi lang yan one way, kundi it goes both ways. And then it says, if you, if you see yourself free of that defect, kung sabagay, sometimes we are free and try to speak as I would have. In this way, you will speak with my own tongue. In other words, hindi uh, natin, hindi natin pinagmamalaki, pinagmamataas rather, na kinukurikan natin siya. However, uh, we become transparent Now what we are doing is you are doing it in love. Uh, you never fail in charity with your neighbor. You are doing this in the spirit of love. Uh, <clears throat> and, and when we do that, <clears throat> sabi nga, you will give honor and glory. Kanina nga, as you were talking about uh, uh, giving uh, <clears throat> giving uh, some kind of a uh, practice to to honor the nativity of Mary no this is a good way of honoring Mary's nativity if only we can practice that fraternal charity in which case both we and the one who is being corrected will help each other we we, we become closer to each other and we 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 promise to help and support each other And that is giving an honor and glory to, 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 to Jesus and to Mama Mary. Diba? That is, that is the, the joy of a mother to see their children that they are coming together. No? And that is, uh, that is uh, uh, the best tribute we can give to Mother Mary uh, on her birthday. You see, I think mag maganda, maganda ito. Pero let us be open. And hindi tayo dapat yung uh, uh, proud or uh, adamant. But uh, we should be humble even in our uh, in our words, even in the tone of the voice. Kaya nga ganda maganda kanina, no? Na we are supposed to uh, to equate dispose ourselves in the same way that Jesus is disposed, no? Both in, in, in all our senses and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So yun lang magigita maganda. Thank you very much po, Father. Um, uh, here on the upper part, um, Jesus gave Louisa the grace to make use mm -hmm. of uh, everything that he himself did. Great grace as I am pouring in, you make sure you keep them well. Mm -hmm. And um, um, there's uh, this portion from from the book of heaven about Adam. Um, Adam would have done the first heroic act of his life by resisting and correcting Eve. Mm -hmm. um, brother, um, brother Benji, could you read this for us? Brother Benji. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. <laughs> I'll be reading meditation too. No, no. The um, Adam would have done the first heroic act of his life by resisting and correcting Eve. Ah, di ko makita yun na. On the screen. Ah, on the screen. Okay, I'll just read it on the screen. Okay. Okay. Come divine will, read in my reading. Book of Heaven, Volume 15, June 6, 1923. Book of Heaven, okay. Adam would have done the first heroic act of his life by resisting and correcting I. 
Eve. Eve. Decorating. Is it difficult to using a cell phone kasi. Anyway. Uh, gusto mo pala hindi pa it. yung font? No, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why did Adam sin? Wait. Nawala. Why did Adam sin? Because he removed his gaze from the divine attraction. And as Eve presented to him the fruit to let him bit of it, eat of it, he looked at the fruit and his sight took pleasure in looking at it. His hearing took delight in hearing the words of Eve that if he ate the fruit, he would become like God and his palate took pleasure in eating it. So taste was the first act of his ruin. On the other hand, had he felt his pleasure in looking at it, tedium and bother in hearing the words of Eve, disgust in eating it, Adam would not have sinned. On the contrary, he would have done the first heroic act of his life by resisting and correcting Eve for having done that and he would have remained with the everlasting crown of faithfulness towards the one to whom he owed so much, and who had all the rights for his subjection. Oh, how careful one must be with the different tastes that arise in the soul. If they are purely divine tastes, one must give them life, but if they are human tastes or of passions, one must give them death, otherwise there is the danger of falling into the current of evil. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Brother Benji. So, in our case, we are given clear uh, examples on how to make use of uh, uh, our senses and um, the different faculties of our soul, the way our Lord Jesus did when he was still on earth. And so, we could prevent um, uh, the same fault that Adam did um, while in paradise. So, <clears throat> he could have done the first heroic act of his life by resisting and correcting Eve. So, I think this is what Father is telling us, that we have to do something in order to resist and correct uh, the wrong that we are doing in our society and little little acts little prayers that we do in the divine will would uh, uh, help us to to do this to correct what is happening in our society although sabi pa nga, Rizal pa lang, he was already telling us about the cancer in our society but with God nothing is impossible so Let's do uh, something, if, we, if ever that uh, thing, for example, if Brother Nanis will start it, then, of course, sabayan natin ang prayers. We are bringing back the prayers for, not only for the church, for our Pope, but also for our country, and for each one of us, so that we may be faithful in living out the will of God in our daily life. So makikita natin at the end of this faith formation materials and I believe that is really very, very, very important, especially during the, these times of ours. So um, we could also do some heroic acts, especially during mm -hmm. these times. And it is Jesus who will do it in us, not really us. You know, I just let me know. Uh, Apo. Uh, mayroon din sinasabi na, ano ba yan? Nasaan ba yung kanina? Yung uh, kay Adam po. Oo, nasaan ba yung kanina? Ito to. Um, mayroon kang... Ito, why did Adam sin? Ah, yeah, ito. How careful one must be. Sige ba, sige ba, taas mo ng konti. Uh, with the different days that arise in the soul. Alam mo, ha? Ah... Uh, <laughs> uh, our media is telling us all lies and very little truth. And uh, sabi nga, sabi nga, 
when a lie is being told over and over again, it becomes truth to people. And that is what's going on now. Huh? Uh, ako, and ako, I still read newspaper, ano? Pero kaya, ano, wala. <laughs> hindi naman ito, hindi naman sa pagbabatikos nito, ano ha? Pero, yun yung, yung sabi nga, there was one who who analyzed the sona of, uh, of BBM. And they were all lies. And yet, it's presented as if things are getting better. Huh? So, you mismo, uh, for me, we must talk more about the truth. Ano ba talaga ang katotohanan? Huh? Alimbawa, pero mo, galunggong mismo ini-import na natin. Yung sibuyas ini-import. Bakit mas gusto nila importation? Kasi may komisyon. Ah, ika nga, ah, yung pera na inuutang natin para makabili, ninanakawad pa tayo because of the komisyon. Ah? And this is this thing that's going on in our society. And very much uh, blatant na sa ngayon. So, ang taste natin, sana, sana, ano, hindi magbago. Uh, kasi the way they present it as if it is, things are getting better. Uh, but, uh, at tayo, kumisa na, na, nadadala tayo eh. Uh, so, let us not be dissuaded to to go away from the truth. Isa yan sa dapat ipagdasal natin, ano ah, na hindi tayo ma, 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 mahalayo sa katotohanan. At ang katotohanan lang talaga ang ating dapat uh, tayuan at sandalan. Otherwise, wala eh. So yun ang aking ano no uh, I was I was struck by I was struck by that. Mm -hmm. uh, wag natin baguhin kasi yun ang nangyari sa kanila kay kay, uh, kay Adam eh na bago uh, yung kanyang uh, yung kanyang palette na bago eh. Uh, dahil sa presentation ni Eve which was presented by the serpent. Uh, Ang pagkasalanan naman eh, is temptation is always presented as a, something good eh. And if it is not presented as good, hindi temptation yan eh. Kaya dapat tayo ay medyo ah, matatag, no? <laughs> that is the heroism as the bus. Yung hindi tayo nadadala. Uh, mm -hmm. Yung ating paningin, yung ating paglasa, yung ating pakiramdam, yung ating pakinig, no? Hindi tayo na, hindi na, hindi nagbabago. Hindi, nandun tayo sa the divine will. Hindi na dapat tayo umiwalay doon. Anything against the commandments of God is not the divine will. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, okay. yun ang aking... Yes, Can I add something? Okay. Ah, uh, other yung yung pananaw natin. Sa akin kasi, ah, uh, itong Book of Heaven, yung mga knowledge na natutunan ko dito, ang laking bagay. Mm. Kasi ah, uh, before ah, uh, di ko siya ante ko nune. Ah, eh. mm. uh, I was ah, uh, ne, although I studied theology, tapos nagnin. Uh, before nag ako, ako nag ng theology nagninegosyo ako no may meron akong uh, negosyo eh pag nagnegosyo ka uh, hindi hindi madali yung honest kundi hindi kakikita ng malaki eh mm -hmm. ang 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 ano ko noon ang goal ko noon was to really become a very very big businessman no uh, kaya lang uh, Eh, yung yung sinasabi niyo na nagbabago yung taste kasi yung mga pinapakisamahan niyo yung pinapaki 
yung mga natutunan nyo, hindi mabuti. Ngayon, nung, nung nag-aral ako ng theology, I was introduced early uh, when I was studying scriptures dahil ang nakaklase ko, rogationist. No? Eh, yung, yung rogationist na yun, uh, he sabi niya, mas, madi, mas madali natin maintindihan ang scriptures if we will read the book of heaven, sabi niya. So ang ginawa niya, kasi no, nadadownload yung book of heaven. Eh. So pinadownload, dinownload ko sa 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 ano ko computer yung book of heaven tapos and we were kaya yung yung teacher namin sa scriptures na may doctorate ha, sa scriptures tuwan tuwa natuulat siya bakit bakit yung aming mga ang tawag dissertations ng kasi bawat book ba, ba, halos ha, bawat bawat uh, uh, chapter lahat talaga ang ganun yung study namin noon eh talagang uh, sa eskwela yung So from from Genesis to to the end, no, to Book of Revelation, talagang nililisa namin, no, kasi anyway, talagang studies ng scriptures yun eh. So natutuwa yung teacher namin, bakit yung aming expound, pag mag-expound kami o nag-explain, uh, kami tatlo kami, isang 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 rogationist, yung isa Franciscan, saka ako na 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 lay uh, salisian, uh, ang tawag to, kung magbigay kami ng explanation, parang hindi, uh, ang tawag, hindi ordinary, no? Na naririnig niya. Yung, hindi namin siya sabi sa kanya, meron kaming, uh, ang tawag to, hindi naman nang dadaya, no? Yung, yung parang, uh, something that helps us to be able to understand scripture better, which is the book of heaven. So, ganun na nangyari sa amin, Father. Kaya ngayon, tingin ko, if we can only expand the little children of the divine will where they will be reading uh, uh, Book of Heaven, yung kay Mama Mary, at saka yung Passion of Christ, uh, yung kanilang taste magiging uh, the taste of God. So it will no longer be the taste, the human taste, but the taste na binibigay ng knowledge brought about by the Book of Heaven na, ng, ng divine will. no? So yung kagustuhan ng Diyos ang magiging taste So actually uh, sa akin yung if you want to really change not only the Philippines but the the whole world uh, who has been little by little being been brainwashed by uh, by I would say the the atheist the Mormons yung mga hindi nila gustong the, 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 those people who want to control the world no yung talagang maperang mapera no Uh, and these people, yung, I forgot, may tawag sa kanila eh. May isang grupo na talagang, they almost control the economy of the world, no? And uh, they want to to really have a say. So, binibrainwash nila tayo. Tingin ko, yan ang nangyayari yan. Sa, sa, na, tayo sa Philippines, lalo na kasi mahirap tayo. So, medyo madali nila tayong pasukin, no? So, unless we really uh, step up in uh, promoting this spirituality of the divine will, uh, baka maunahan tayo ng, ng demonyo. Kaya lang, ang, ang consolation ko, sabi sa to, uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, na magkakaroon ng second coming naman, and the, the bigger part, uh, marami ang mamamatay, So halos lahat yung mga hindi rin wala, mamamatay. So yun naman ang consolation ko na God will do something about it if we cannot. Pero ang, ano, ang sa akin lang is that sana mas maraming maligtas. Hindi, hindi mas marami yung ma, hmm. mamatay. Ma, ma, ano. Kundi sana maraming maligtas. And ang solution, tingin ko, is the book of heaven. End of sharing. Thank you very much, Brother Nanis. Um, mm-hmm. So let's see. Let's continue with our meditation. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> meditation three. Mm. Can we call on uh, Sister? Um, who would like to volunteer? Um, Sister Sister Lonnie. <laughs> Sister 
Steloni. Good afternoon, good evening, po. Yes, good evening, Steloni. I'm divine here, read in my reading. Understand, you understand, read Mama Mary and Mamina Luisa. Meditation 3, Book of Heaven, Volume 12, April 7, 1919. Leaders, do not have the strength to correct their subjects, threats or chastisements. Jesus transported me into the midst of creatures. But who can say that they were doing what they were doing? I will only say that my Jesus, with sorrowful tone, added, What disorders in the word? But this disorder is because of the leaders, both civilian and ecclesiastical. Their self interested and corrupted lives did not have the strength to correct their subjects. Therefore, they closed their eyes over the evils of the members, since they already showed their own evils. And if they did correct them, it was all in a superficial way, because not having the life of the good within themselves, how could they infuse it in others? And how many times these prevented leaders have placed the evil before the good? to the point that the few good had remained shaken by this acting of the leaders. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I will have the leaders struck in a special way. And I, Jesus, spare the leaders of the church. They are already few. If you strike them, the rulers will be lacking. And Jesus, don't you remember that I founded my church with 12 apostles? In the same way, those few will remain with me, will be enough to reform the world. The enemy is already at the doors. The revolutions are already in the field. The nations will swim in blood. The leaders will be dispersed. Pray, pray, and suffer so that the enemy may not have the freedom to reduce everything to ruin. Together. Jesus. Jesus, together with you, we prepare for the ambition of those who aspire to kingdoms, to dignities, to honors, and for those who are defining themselves positions of authority and behavior incorrectly cause the ruin of the peoples and their souls which had been entrusted to them and their evil examples push others toward evil and cause the loss of those for the sake of his most sorrowful passion Mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mercy, we trust in you. And your love for us. O oh, supreme will come to reign upon the earth, invest all generations, win and conquer all, and do not delay any longer. Thank you, Mr. Daniel, Sister Nani. So this meditation tells us exactly what Father had been sharing with us. So really, we have to pray. We have to pray much and do our acts continuously and attentively so that we may make reparation for all the sins that are happening. And uh, of course, um, fast as much as possible and uh, make sacrifices for the sake, not only of our country, but of all the rulers uh, worldwide. So the passion is a very good source of uh, reparation. Uh, and it is Jesus himself who has given us 
all these different ways of reparation. In fact, this is taken from the passion. And um, uh, with this, with our continuous acts in the divine will, our rounds of I love yous, who knows, um, by the act of God himself, the world would change and the divine justice would be placated, at least in part, if not all. So, Father, can you say something? I think uh, this is exactly what you're telling us. Yeah, ang ano, siguro kanina iniisip ko so that uh, our prayer will be a little bit more uh, empathic. Mm -hmm. Ang bawat isa sa atin, mm -hmm. you adopt one of the politicians mm -hmm. and yun ay pagdasal mo for conversion. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> You can choose anyone. Uh, could be a local officer, official, could be a national official. Uh, pray for that special person, for, the, for that person. When you pray the rosary, pray for that person. When you, when you uh, pray in your own words, pray for that person. And when you offer sacrifice, you offer it for that person. Uh, in other words, kasi hindi naman natin, uh, we need conversion eh. Ang ating pinagdadasal is for conversion. Uh, conversion so that we uh, can change our, our, uh, our perspective to the perspective of the divine will. In the perspective na Magkano ang kikitahin ko, mag magkano ang kukurakutin ko, kundi pa paano ako magiging tapat sa divine will. Ha? Yun ang dapat ipagdasal natin. At the same time, we are praying for ourselves so that we can be more, uh, uh, more, more, more consistent, more persevering uh, in trying to follow the divine will. Uh, kasi it is not just it's not just a devotion it is really an obligation and uh, divine will for the good of all sabi nga the, the second plenary council has the expression for the good of the greater majority indeed for the good of just a few uh, so the divine will is promoting what is good for the greater majority of our people that is what we should promote, what we should try to work towards. Uh, so, in, in, ano natin? Kanya-kanya ng pili niya, ano ha? You don't have to tell anybody, ikaw na. And then, uh, as I said, let us try to to widen uh, our circles so that we can have more people to join us in this, in this uh, advocacy, in this campaign in this uh, ask, task of evangelization. Huh? Uh, it's, a, it's a great task, but uh, at least at least we are not passive, we are not allowing it to just prosper. Uh, sabi nga, uh, it's, uh, it's in, uh, what the good have to do is to do nothing for the evil to triumph. Uh, so we try, try try to do something about it. Uh, persevere. Uh, yes, Father. Mm -hmm. We will uh, discuss about it uh, uh, before we end. Before we end our Senakel. Yes. Uh, actually, we have a very special prayer for uh, our country and for. Um, mm -hmm. For the church, for our country, and for mm -hmm. everyone, as you mentioned. Okay. Uh, but we're bringing this back, and this time we're going to expand it so that uh, each one would be praying for a particular person, but all of us would be praying for the president of our country. Mm. So that he and other, other government officials 
mag-govern our nation in the wisdom and will of God. Okay. So, ano ako, ah? magpaalam na rin ako. <laughs> yes po, Father. <laughs> Thank you very much for By your... By the way, I will be away for two weeks. Ah? For mm -hmm. two, almost three weeks anyhow. Mm -hmm. The ah. Lord be with you. Glory. Glory. God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father Brown.